see it, like I said, I'm kind of marking out the areas of shade from my sketch and then just referencing the photo of how the um, hair is actually moving. I tend to work quite intensely in one area and then work out, so I don't kind of do one layer, another layer, another layer. I do go over it all again at the end usually. I'll start like this and then I'll get to like maybe an hour in and I'll just need to go away from it for a bit and usually like eat or something um, and then come back to it. I've kind of always drawn with a lot of colour since I've been in school and it's just the way I see light and shade I guess. Um, I went home like a couple of weeks ago and my dad's doing the clear out because he's moving house and all my like equivalent of GCSE level art and stuff was there and then like I just used to draw, I didn't draw many animals, it was just loads of like fruit and onions and things like that and they're all in like really weird colours. Like most people do, I went to art school and then like changed and tried loads of different things but then left and kind of regressed almost back to what I was doing before. How do you become a writer? You just sit in the chair, like you just have to do it, you have to put yourself there in front of something and have absolutely nothing else going on other than like yourself and your own thoughts or yourself and a pencil. I think you need to give things time and space and I just think everyone's in a rush to do everything and it's like, I don't know, I don't think any work that I've done really rushed is ever great. My mum was in a folk band, um, my dad owned a record label. Um, and then I was basically really wanted to be a singer, but I can't sing. And I was told that at a very young age. <laughs> you got a drawing, keep that up. <laughs> I guess it's like, if you've got a job that stresses you out, you need to, some people might go to the gym to work there. I love doing this, so I don't really need to like, have something to counteract. Oh God, I'm gonna go to draw, so I'm gonna have to do something to counteract it. It's like, it's kind of the main reason I draw is, is I'm quite relaxed when I'm drawing. It's like when I'm doing life admin or anything else or like figuring out how I'm going to pay my bills, that's quite stressful, but this isn't stressful. Like working with colour pencil, you can't really like, if you make a mistake, you just have to kind of build it up. You can't, you can rub out, but you can't really like rub out a whole area and start again. So. It's not really about getting anything that's perfect. I'm definitely very heavy handed with pencils. My war rings. I've got like proper calluses on my thumb. But yeah, this is the bit that I enjoy most, which is like just picking out extra bits of colour at the end. I think it's just about done. I think I'm happy with it. I think it looks like Highland Cow, and that's what I set out to do. So yeah, that's it.